bivalent resistance of resistors series. Materials required A meter bridge A lec lanch cell A galvanometer A resistance box And a jockey Take a connecting wire and connect one end to the positive terminal of the lec lanch cell or battery and the other end to the meter bridge terminal A. Take another wire and connect one end to the negative terminal of the cell and the other end to one of the terminals of the key. Remove the key. Take the connecting wire and connect one end to the other terminal of the key and the other end to the terminal B of the meter bridge. The resistance box is connected between the terminal of the left gap of the meter bridge with two wires. Take another wire and connect to the positive terminal of the galvanometer and the other to the central terminal of the meter bridge. Take another wire and connect one end to the negative terminal of the galvanometer and the other end to the jockey. Resistance wire R1 Connect the resistance wire R1 between the terminals of the right gap of the meter bridge. Ensure that the resistance wire just touches the terminal. Insert the key and take 5 OHM resistance from the resistance box and then slide the jaw key over the meter bridge wire until the galvanometer shows null deflection. Measure the balancing length from the end A, that is 50 cm. Resistance wire R2 Connect the resistance wire R2 between the terminals of the right gap of the meter bridge. Insert the key and take 5 OHM resistance from the resistance box and then slide the jockey over the meter bridge wire until the galvanometer shows null deflection. Measure the balancing length from the end A, that is 55.5 cm. R1 and R2 in series. Take two resistance wires R1 and R2 which are in series and connect it between the terminals of the right gap of the meter bridge. Insert the key and take 5 OHM resistance from the resistance box and then slide the jockey over the meter bridge wire until the galvanometer shows null deflection. Measure the balancing length from the end A, that is 35.7 centimeters.